All right, we're up. I get another opportunity. Six that bad of the game in the 13th. What is going on? Yo, Chapman is still in the game. He has 52 pitches. All right. All right, that did not work. Quick 0-2 count. All right, guys, welcome back some more. I'm going to be 9 innings 22, and in this one, I'm going to be making my Sig Jansen a black diamond along with some other stuff. And then after that, we're going to be checking out the new career mode that came in the update last week. So let's go ahead and get this thing started. Okay, so this is what Jansen is currently looking like. There are the stats right there. We have a special train to level 6. We'll be able to probably get him to level 9 today, which will give him the finesse pitcher bonus as well. There are the skills on him. Absolutely fire card. Let's go ahead and make him black diamond. We got 220 black diamond pieces. It costs 160 to make a signature, a black diamond. Let's go ahead and use all these right there. So satisfying. Let's go ahead and press start and make him a black diamond. This card is absolutely fire, even better than the Gagne in terms of skills and stuff like that. Probably my second favorite animation. I say this every single time besides the sig change ticket, which hopefully comes back one day. I have no clue when it will be, but hopefully it does. And there he is. And now, we can go ahead and continue to special train this card and try and get him to at least a level 9. I don't think we'll be able to get him to level 10 though, sadly. So now that Jansen is a black diamond, let's go ahead and continue to special train him. We are going to use everything you guys see right here. The Gagne and Grindals are getting used because there is literally no use for them because we have their best years as SIGs already black diamond special trained all the way up. So let's go ahead and do this. Go ahead and use all these and that'll get him to level 6 and then I'm thinking... Once we go ahead and do the diamonds and gold cards, that'll be where we see them getting to level seven and eight, possibly nine. And we should be able to use the rest of the cards we have right here. So let's go ahead and do that. And that'll get them close to level nine, but not exactly. He'll be a little bit off of level nine, but once we get there, he will have the finesse pitcher bonus. Sadly, we're gonna be just, we're gonna be very close, but we're not gonna be there yet. He'll be at 14, I wanna say, right? So yes, he's at 14 more location and break than Velo and Fastball, but once we get the extra plus two to break, which will be 16 more location and break the Velocity Fastball, the Finesse Pitcher bonus, we are really close, sadly just not there yet. And once we get this card to Special Train level 10, we will make the last boss a level eight skill and then he will be completely done. This card is absolutely fire. He'll be looking very similar to the Ryu that we have right there, the exact same set. He's looking very nice as well. He is my best pitcher by far. Hunter is a close second, but Ryu is just an absolute baller. One more thing I'm going to do before we check out the new career mode is I'm going to make my normal Urias a black diamond as well. I have 60 black diamond pieces to be able to do that. And the reason for that is I had asked some guys how I should optimize my bullpen, and they suggested to make Urias a black diamond even though he's a normal. He has the best skills out of everyone besides Gagne and Jansen. And with them having the setup man and being a normal card, he can't last multiple innings, and a setup man can sometimes throw multiple innings. So I'm going to black diamond him once I special train him to level 10, move him to the closing spot because he only will throw one inning max as a closer, which he can get by with that with the setup man as well and him being a normal card. And I'm going to move Ganya in the setup role, and I think that should do well. We'll see how it does. I'll test it out, but uh, that's what I'm going to do. So let's go ahead and use these black diamond pieces on this Urias right here. And then that's all we're going to be able to do. We can't special train him because we just use all of our materials on Jansen. But there we go. Going to make him a black diamond. Normally I wouldn't do this with the normal card. But like I said, I talked to some people and that's what they suggested. Some of you guys might agree. Some of you guys might disagree. But we'll see how it does. And it's not the end of the world. So we'll probably get in some black diamond pieces here again here when we do our SIG craft as well. Hopefully we can get a non-dupe because we did dupe uh, Belly again in the last pack when we collab live stream with AKs. And uh, that was just, that was a tough one. All right, so now it's time to check out the new career mode that just got added in the recent 7.1.1 update. If you go to special mode, you'll see career mode is now available. And so right here, there are two different leagues. You can do beginner league or master league. If you wanna participate in beginner league, your player has to have an overall less than 100. If it's higher than 100, you can't do it. Now, if your player does hit above 100 while you've already started the beginner league, you can still finish out that league. Let's go ahead and do Master League, though. I have no players, actually, that I can use, I believe, that are under 100. So let's go ahead and do that and show you guys what is up. So when you get in here, you get to select one batter. So pretty much the way this works, you play 150 games, you choose one batter, and you only play with that batter. It simulates the rest of the game. And once you come up, once your player is up, you play that at bat with them, and then it sims the rest of them. So let's go ahead and choose. I'm going to go with Belly. He's probably my best batter in terms of stats, and then he has barreled up in Pioneer, so that's pretty nice. Click OK on that. And then pretty much once you get in here, you'll see all these stats and pretty much on the right side, you'll see where you rank against everyone else in the community. So your hits, your average and everything like that. If you go up top to the reward, 
it'll show you all this stuff right here for where you finish an average RBI home run, stuff like that. For now, it's only clutch hit coin, but I think once this season is up, which it only lasts a month, each of these career seasons lasts one month or like 30 days, there should be more rewards that come in the next season, I think, which is where these empty spots will come into play. And then after that, behind my face cam, let me go and switch this. With this change batting order button, you can change where your batter will be in the lineup. So it automatically defaults to three, I think. And I'm gonna actually go ahead and change that to one. I would suggest you guys make your batter number one so you can maximize the amount of at-bats you'll be able to get being the leadoff batter. And so once you guys do that, you'll also be able to see the schedule down here. It is, I believe, the same schedule for every single person. You play five games against each team. There's 150 games. You can scroll through and see all the teams you'll play and when you'll play them. And uh, pretty much that's all this is. You can see all your stats and stuff with the stats button right there. Compare yourself to other people in the community. Besides that, there's not much that goes into this. You can obviously get clutch hitch coins by playing this. It's actually, you can get more clutch hitch coins, I believe, from doing this than actually clutch hits mode. So that's pretty nice. And also with this, you get 10 of these career balls a day. And I believe it resets every night at midnight. And it's like, I think it's, 300 something minutes for it to be able to charge or something like that or higher than that. I have no clue, but you can only, I think, play 10 times a day, which if you think about it, there's 30 days in a month. If you play 10 times a day, you can technically complete one of these career mode seasons twice before it resets to the next season. So if there's anything in terms of confusion, let me know in the comments, but let's go ahead and get in our first game. And one more thing I wanted to mention before we get into the actual gameplay is that each pitcher that you face you will always get their best year, I believe. So Garrett Cole's best year with the Yankees is 20, so you'll get him. And then I believe Severino is the next pitcher, and his best year is 17 with the Yankees, so that's who you play. So it's always, I believe, their best year. And down on the right side, you can also equip gear and use condition drinks to make sure your player is in the up condition. And for gear, I would suggest probably just using silver or bronze. I'm just gonna go ahead and do some silver ones right here. You probably don't need to use fielding. I think that's probably pointless. I, you could use speed as well, but obviously if you wanna use any gear, use power, contact, and eye. I mean, if you wanna put fielding on too, that's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and use some condition as well, and now let's go ahead and get this thing started. Okay, so here we go, first ever career mode game with Cody Bellinger, and you cannot change the lineup as well. So when you change the batting order, every player that is on your team is set. You can't change that as well. You can only change where your player is at and what player you're using. First at bat, honestly, I guess you guys, when you play this, you wanna treat it like uh, club mode on manual days where you only swing when you have two strikes because you will face the starting pitcher probably multiple times, and the lower the stamina, probably the better of chance you'll be able to get hits later in the game. So I, I guess that's the way, I don't know, I haven't really played this much yet. Also, these pitchers always have 3-3-3 three, three, three skills that are diamond level seven as well. They are different. Garrett Cole has clean your mess, inning eater in the last boss. And let's go ahead and take until we get two strikes. This is what I normally do on manual mode. And it, it takes a while on manual mode. I dread those days, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Okay, so we got two strikes. Let's see if we can get on base here. And that's gonna be right to Hicks. I have to say, man, that is the worst feeling when you hit a line drive and it's straight to him in this game. It's just, it's like, what else am I supposed to do? Okay, next at bat, can we get on base this time? Can we get on base? Maybe we can get walked, that would be cool. Got ourselves a quick 0-2 count. Let's see if we can work with it here. And that is gonna be a liner right to DJ LeMahieu. Are you gotta be kidding me, man? We are killing the ball, straight to him though. Third at bat, still looking for our first hit. We've been cheeked, honestly, on the first two at bats. It, it's just absolute crap, but it is what it is. All right, another 0-2 count here. This one's gonna be a bomb. Not gonna be a bomb, but we finally get a base hit. Honestly, a terrible pitch to swing at, but I'll take it. We finally got on base. That should have been our third hit of the game, in my opinion. And I'll take some clutch hit coins as well. Bottom of the seventh, we are down a run. We have been shut out by Garrett Cole. This is unacceptable. We need to go yard right here. Let's tie this game up, come on. One, two count, he's throwing the curve, I can feel it. Did not throw the curve, is that gonna get down though? And another fly out. All hard hit balls, straight to him today, you hate to see it. Fifth and probably final at bat of the game, we were down a run in the bottom of the ninth, Justin Turner tied it up. We're in the bottom of the 10th right here. This is where we hit a home run on Chapman. Let's do this right here. I'm swinging on the first pitch, not gonna be a home run, but that's gonna get down and be a double. One out, come on, you guys have to drive me in right here. Come on, please, we gotta win this first game. Ah, oh, come on, man, nothing happened there. Urias, hold him down, hold him down. 
Alright, we're going to the bottom of the 11th. Can someone please do something? I might get up to bat again, low-key. Laura holding him down, okay, okay. Guys, what are we doing? We're in the 13th? First career mode game is going wild right here. All right, we're up. I get another opportunity. Six at bat of the game in the 13th. What is going on? Yo, Chapman is still in the game. He has 52 pitches. All right. I'm going to make him throw a little bit. I'm going to make him throw a little bit. All right, that did not work. Quick 0-2 count. And that's going to get through. I believe we were the leadoff batter as well. I'm on base with no outs. Come on. Can we please just end the game right here? I believe I'm, what, four for six on the day or three for six, something like that? Come on. Guys, what the heck? I lead off the inning. We cannot do that. We're going to lose now. We're going to lose. And we just lost that game in the 14th. We just lost that game in the 14th inning. I did my job in extras. We had two at-bats, got on base. You've got to be joking me. Three for six with double, not terrible. Still looking for my first home run. It's the only thing about this game. I have 170-something the power with Pioneer and Barreled Up. Like I feel like I should be able to hit a bomb or something like that. But uh, wow, what a crazy way to start this career mode off. I mean, seriously, 14 innings and we, we couldn't put up a run in four extra innings. You got to be kidding me. All right, and that's going to pretty much do it for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you guys did, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe with that said. I'll see you guys next time.